When have women ever come up to a nice guy and say, oh, you seem like you're so nice. You seem like a nice boyfriend. No, they stay away from nice guys. You disgust them. Let's go boys, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right guys, man, welcome back to another video. And today, we're here to dive into women chase 99% of men who do this. What are the men that women are chasing? What are they specifically doing to make women chase them? If you don't believe that there is a select few of men in this world that get the most women, you're living in a la-la land. You must have been living under the box. As you guys know, Modern dating for men is very, very challenging. There is literally 1% of the guys are getting most of the girls. The fives and sixes and seven girls still want the 10 guys. So what are those guys doing to make women chase them? Number one, he acts like he's entitled. Guys, I cannot tell you guys how many times women have called me cocky. You're so cocky, you're so cocky, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, but y'all don't, nev y'all never leave me alone. <laughs> I'm like, uh, this is kind of weird, right? Like, women call me cocky, women think I'm arrogant, women think I'm full of myself, but they keep being interested in me. They are very, very curious about me. I mentioned on my stories on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, by the way, uh, about how I, I was in the gym and the girl was like, you think you all that, huh? I was like, huh? What? I was like, a girl who hasn't even spoke to me, mentioned to me how I, how basically she, I carry myself like, I, I, like I'm all that. And I'm like, would this girl have even cared? Would she have even mentioned that you think you all that, huh? If I was a beta male, if I was a nice guy, if I was a guy who walked around like this, Oh, I'm so scared of the world. But because I walk around with my chest up, because I act like all of y'all should be begging me to be in y'all lives, this girl noticed that, hmm, he must think he's all that. When have women ever come up to a nice guy and say, oh, you seem like you're so nice. You seem like a nice boyfriend. No, they stay away from nice guys. You disgust them. They act, every fluid in their body dries up when they pass a nice guy who's timid and shy. But when I come around, oh, you're so arrogant. You're so full of yourself. Next thing you know, she's in my bed. Yeah, 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 you so arrogant. Yeah. You're so cocky. Yeah. I'm like, damn. Yeah. I guess being cocky and entitled, is, maybe that's the way to go, right? I'm not saying be, be a bad person or be mean to women, but guys, you gotta, you gotta act entitled, bro. These girls are, just, are very, very much entitled. They feel like they deserve the best of the best. Why aren't you that way? As a guy, why aren't you entitled? You got girls who don't deserve no kind of high value man. They don't bring nothing to the table, but they believe sincerely that they deserve a high value man. They're delusional. Why aren't you delusional? Why are you walking around like you're below these women? Why are you walking around like they, they're better than you? When girls who, <laughs> who, are, who should be lucky to be with you, they're entitled. You should be just as delusional as women. If you want women to chase you and you're not entitled, good luck. What is she gonna chase? It's the guy that's, that's like, y'all need to literally lay out uh, uh, rose petals when I walk around. That's how I act. Oh yeah, I don't care where I am. Oh, I don't care. Oh, we at the, we at the gym, the mall. Hey, look at King is here. That's how I walk and carry myself and women notice that. That's why they keep choosing me. That's why I keep getting approached. This year alone, guys, I've been approached by more girls. They either, I, today in the gym, I, I put my right hand, put my right hand to the sky, I swear. I was in the gym today, I, I'm about to go do where the pull-ups, and the girl goes, she starts saying something about something. She was speaking Spanish, and I was like, I don't really know what she was saying. She was looking at me, laughing, smiling, like, Oh, like you, you this and this, huh? Or something. I ain't know what she was saying, but all I'm saying is she said something to me, right? I'm like, well, I don't know why these girls keep finding me so interesting to speak words to me. I thought they were shy. I thought they were nervous around me, but they, they find a way, even if it's something irrelevant. She was probably talking about something irrelevant, but it just, she just so happened to want to speak to me because I act entitled, because I act like I own the place. Number two, doesn't compromise. Guys, 
alpha men, the guys who, who women are chasing, do not compromise. My way or no way. If you don't follow my rules, if you don't follow my program, here's the door. The door is waiting on you. I'm not compromising with nothing. I, uh, I'm a, listen guys, and this is how I am. I'm the big G. Hey, any girl that's messing with me, any girl that's in my life, I'm a, I'm a, hey, we're gonna go out, have fun, go all over the world, do everything. We're gonna have fun. You're gonna, you're gonna be spoiled messing with FedEx Fearless. As long as you're cooperative, submissive, right? And you bring me peace. The moment you stop doing any of those things in any kind of way, here is the door. I'm gonna do my part. I'm gonna go out in the world and conquer and, and make impact so I can provide, change lives so I can provide, right? But guess what? If you don't follow my rules, I like things done a certain way. If you don't wanna follow that certain way, here's the door. What confuses me about women, guys, is this. They want the high earning man. They want the six figure, six inches, six foot guy. You want, you want that guy, right? If women had a choice, they will always pick the man who had more, always. You, even if you like watching this video, if you're, your own self, if you have a girlfriend, if you've been with a girl, that girl would have picked the taller, more handsome, richer version of yourself every single time. They want that kind of guy. But to be that kind of guy, you have to be very disciplined. You have to be very bold, very strict. You gotta do things a certain way. If you guys don't know, making money is difficult. So if you're a guy who's making a lot of money, you're extremely successful, that's not by mistake. You have to do a lot of things right to get there. Unless you're scamming people, which I don't believe in, you guys should not be scamming nobody to make no money, right? That's beta male 101, right? Do things the right way so you live a life of freedom. You don't go to jail, right? I ain't making money and you, you got a risk of going to jail, you ain't making money to me, right? Anyways, those guys who are making a lot of money, those guys who are high earners, they had to do things a certain way to get to where they are. So don't you think, ladies, that that man is gonna have rules and regulations? What they want is the, the, the high earning, good looking man to just lay down and let them let the girl walk all over him. It ain't gonna happen. There's a reason why he's that level. But a lot of women don't wanna compete. They don't wanna compete for a man who has rules, but you want that high value guy. It makes no sense. It makes no sense to me. The reason he's high value is because he had to do a lot of high value things to get to where he is. So obviously this guy is gonna have certain rules and regulations for you to be in his life. He had to earn his spot in society. So if you are a guy that wants women to chase you, you can't compromise at all. Oh no, baby, no, 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 I'm gonna treat you with respect. Respect all women, I'm, I'm all for that. Respect her, all right? I'm gonna respect you, respect me, but I'm gonna have, I want things done a certain way. I don't want no arguing, I don't want no combativeness. I don't want, if you bring me any kind of stress, here's the door. Because hey, I earned my spot in society. I'm a guy that can provide and take care of you and give you fun and do all this stuff. This is what I require from a woman. I'm not asking you to pay for dates. I'm not asking you to take me all over the world. The least you can do is bring me peace. Number three, treat her in a dominant but caring way. Guys, women need that balance. They need the man that they feel safe with because he can lay down the law, but they also need a man that's romantic. They also need a man that can be sweet to them. He has a little bit of, he has a little bit of that charm inside. That's what gets women hooked. When you can provide both, when you can be the dominant guy, the, the, the masculine guy, the guy who has rules and regulations, but you can also take her on a walk for a beach, look her in the eyes and kiss her and make out with her and do romantic, nice things. That girl will be addicted to you, addicted to you. I'm telling you, because now you're providing both. You're providing the attention and the sweet love and you know that the beta male is giving her all the time, right? And then, but you're also providing that, that, that safety. Women need to be with a man. I don't think men understand this. Being this clown boy, joker, ho, 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 all the time with girls, they laugh, they joke with you, but guess what? They test more. When women, when women, when women feel, when they feel like you're the jokester, you're the guy who they can't take you that seriously, of course they're gonna test you more. But if you have a strong masculine frame, but can still be romantic, women are going to be addicted to you. It's the joker, it's the ho 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 ho, you always laughing and playing with the girl, she can't take you seriously. 
I'm sorry, it ain't gonna happen. Number four, let's argue all the pursuing. Guys, listen to me very, very carefully. At some point, she has to do all the pursuing. If you don't let this girl do all the pursuing, she will never fall in love with you. Women chase 99% of men who do this. At some point, you have to stop doing the pursuing. I'm not saying the first week. I'm not saying the first month. It might not even be after three months. Some girls, you need to really, you need to really get them attached for them to really pursue you. But at some point, you have to stop pursuing her. You have to let her do all the pursuing. That's when she's really want, that's when she's gonna be in the most scarcity. When you're providing that balance of a, a dominant romantic frame, when you're seductive, when you're the man, when you don't compromise, when you're entitled, when you're giving her experiences, now you've built that attachment with her. Let her pursue. Let her do the work. Let her initiate contact. Let her want to see you. At some point, if you don't do this, if you're with a girl and you think she's so beautiful and you're doing everything else on this list, you're being dominant, you're not compromising, you're being masculine, you're being romantic also, but you don't at some point start letting her do all the pursuing because you are afraid of losing her, she will never fall in love with you. When a woman starts pursuing you, that's when she's gonna feel engulfed in who you are. She has to, she has to. For her to chase you, <laughs> duh. For her, to, for, for her to chase a man, right? She needs to be doing the pursuing. She needs to be doing some kind of chasing. You guys are so scared to let women chase you. Oh my God, if I don't tell her good morning, oh, she might forget about me. Scarcity mindset, that girl never fall in love with you. I don't care how pretty she is, I don't care how beautiful she is, you have to put her in scarcity. And you do that by providing the experience, being dominant but romantic, not compromising, acting entitled like you own the place, but eventually letting her do the pursuing. That's when she's gonna really, really fall in love with you. And number five, put his dreams and ambitions over loving her. So what the beta male does is this, when he gets with a girl, and you guys know I'm right, when a beta male, nice guy gets with a girl, his dreams and ambitions and goals take back seat to the woman. He starts loving her, caring for her more than his dreams. He stops going to the gym. He stops putting himself first. He stopped being a man that the women fell in love with. You guys drive me insane. How you get so complacent with women. The reason she fell in love with you was because you were ambitious and driven. And then when you get with her, when you start getting that butt, when you start getting them cheeks so often, uh, yeah, you go to the gym six days a week normally. Now, it's, it go to three days a week. You go from three days a week, and now you might go to one day a week. Uh, yeah, uh, the gym, uh, uh, uh. You stop going to the gym, you stop grinding every day, you start wanting to see her more, spend more time with her, and whoop, it's gone. The pursuing is gone. She starts looking at you as a man of less and less value. I'm sorry, bro, it ain't gonna happen. The women need to be with a man that puts his dreams and ambitions first. If your dreams and ambitions ever take second fiddle to her, she will lose attraction for you. She will stop chasing you. Guys, your purpose, it sounds great, right? Oh, your purpose, we talk about purpose, 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 and guys just let it go in one end out the other. That's your power with women. Because you're chasing bigger things, you because you never get complacent, that woman is so drawn to you because you're never satisfied. You can always provide her stability. The nice guy lets go of his dreams and ambitions, and he puts her first. He puts her on a pedestal. That's what she thinks she wants, but eventually she starts to lose interest in him because he's too available. He stops being charming. He gets needy. Your purpose allows you to never get needy. Your purpose allows you to never be too available. Do you see why that's so important? Because I'm on my grind, I can't see you every day. Because I'm on my grind, I'm not really sweating you. And that's making me more attractive to you. That's putting her in scarcity, which is making her love me more, and I'm getting richer. We both win. You're making more money, becoming more successful in life, and your girl is loving you even more. If you want this girl to chase you, your dreams and ambitions can never, ever, ever be second fiddle. And that's it, guys. Women chase 99% of men who do these things. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Love you, boys.